All right, welcome back. We have a bonus episode of Making Picks today. Uh, we recorded and uh, dropped the the other episode on the ch- uh, Chiefs and Baltimore game. Uh, you can go back and check that out on our YouTube channel. There's also going to be a link below. Uh, but Mark came forward with a pretty awesome uh, giveaway for that that game. So, Mark, why don't you talk a little bit about that giveaway and um, and how people can get entered into that? Yeah, sure. So I will go ahead and drop the link in the show notes of the show that we previously previously just did here. But we actually covered a little bit of the um, Kansas City Chiefs versus Baltimore Ravens Sunday night kind of like a little football game over here. In that particular show, we kind of like you know outlined them. I'm actually sharing my screen again if you want to go ahead and pull it up. But uh, you know, it's it's a great opportunity where if you go ten for ten with your picks in that specific contest, um, you know, two gem mint ten one is a SGC, the other one is a PSA kind of like no card, but you know we're, we're focusing in on Lamar Jackson kind of like this week here. So right now you can kind of like you know, see that these two cards you can actually pick them up on eBay for about 150 bucks with the buy it now kind of like you no know, feature. However, if you go 10 for 10 with your picks in the Sunday night football Kansas City Chiefs versus Baltimore Ravens, link is dropped in the show notes below here. Those two particular cards are going to be yours. Gotcha, awesome. That those those cards look amazing. <laughs> Um, so let's jump right into it. We're doing uh, the Pick'em Contest, and that is um, for week two. We're in contest four here, but we're going to talk. What do you guys think for the week? Who do you like? Um, I mean, there, there's a ton of lines here and ton of things uh, that we can go over in different games, but I think it'd be best we just dive right into the picking and uh, and just talk about the games and how we see them going um so mark it's on you you're on the clock yeah sure so of course as a group we are kind of like you know competing and what is it what what contest number is this four contest four all right so we're in contest four now last week i just wanted to become like you know known here as a group although it wasn't this format we we did win a contest we tied for first so Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did kind of like you know tie. I'll come to the table with something a little bit kind of like you know more. I got I got I still got some statement games, T-shirts, and things like that. So anybody who has the ability to beat SG SG Live in contest number four, right? The rules will actually be you do have to post a comment in the comment section below with what your statement game's username is, as well as your top ten pick. Anybody who follows that protocol and beats the handle SG Live. I'll send out either a large or an XL or an XL uh, statement games T-shirt, you know, in either black or white, um, to a you know mailing address of, the, of of their choice. I pick up all the shipping costs and all that stuff over here, but of course you gotta follow those simple kind of like you know rules and uh, and beat us. So we're competing. Um, there's a bunch of different things that I like, and there's a bunch of different things that I'm just a little nervous about I'm already. Kind of like, you know, heading into week number two. Um, not a lot of games are popping out at me, but I do see a couple of different things that are popping out from an overrun the perspective. So I thought it was kind of like, you know, very interesting when I take a look at that Chargers Dallas Cowboys game here. How the Chargers haven't actually beaten Dallas since 2005. In fact, it was Drew Brees who beat Drew Bloodsell the last time that the Chargers beat the Cowboys. Um, so I, I did like the way that Dallas had moved the, the ball against Tampa Bay. They've now had. You know, uh, over 10 day or 10 days to uh, to prepare for the Chargers. I do see the Chargers getting on track even a little bit more in week number on the two. So the first thing that I'm kind of like taking a look at is uh, give me the Dallas and L.A. Chargers game, and I'll take the over 55 and a half points. All right, there we go. Will, what do you got? Man, first off, Mark, I have to say I love that pick. I love that pick. I've been eyeing that since uh, the lines came live. But uh, a game that I'm looking at, and it's a, and it's in a divisional opponent. I like New Orleans at Carolina, and I'm gonna go ahead with uh, New Orleans Saints will win by over three and a half points. Nice, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Jameis Winston is is really coming on strong. Man, that week one. 
I think that uh, that that year or that year off that he had to um to learn to sit behind Drew Brees and pretty much learn. And also, he's in that high power offense led by Sean Payton. He's looking good, you know, to drop uh, five touchdowns and uh and and again, you're going into a divisional opponent, and I don't think Carolina's that strong. So, I look for him to to have a uh, even more success this weekend. Nice, yeah. Uh, you know who had some really great success uh, last week, Sunday night. Uh, my my guy Matthew Stafford looking okay. amazing in uh, in that L.A. Rams game. Um, so I'm actually going to target that for my first pick here. Uh, and going against the Colts, it, it doesn't scare me. Um, I know their their defense is pretty good. Well, you know the defense is pretty good too, and Stafford can uh, can fit. There was a uh, a. a a catchphrase or a tagline, I would say, in Detroit when Stafford played for us, and it was uh, Stafford Windows, and it was Stafford being able to throw a football to like a guy and have multiple people crossing in front of him, and it just boom right in, and uh, so Stafford had very narrow windows that he could fit a ball into. So I like the uh, the Rams to win uh, by over three and a half points in uh in the indianapolis uh and then i'm going to go on the flip side with this let me see if i can't find it all right um where are you is there no detroit game in here oh wait it's sunday that's a monday night game never mind i am uh, not going to target that. I was going to say Detroit getting blown out by Green Bay, but uh, <laughs> that's a Monday night. Game, so, um, the confidence, the confidence. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. I think so. We got Houston. I'm looking at this Houston Cleveland game. Um, it's a really high, like that, that's a widespread 12 and a half points, but I and then 48 and a half. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling that game to be I don't know. No, I'm not gonna do that one. I'm not going there. Uh this is what happens when I don't pick through beforehand. Um Ooh. Okay, here we go. Tennessee, Seattle. Uh Russell Wilson just put up five touchdowns last week in Tennessee. Uh, you know, they can put up points. I like them going over the 54 and a half. That'll be it. I'll take that one. Uh, Will on you. All right. We're going to stay right there at, um, towards the bottom. Give me San Francisco at Philadelphia over 40. I'm sorry, over 50 and a half points for the game. Okay. Both offenses, um, you know, did, did their thing. You had San Francisco scoring 40, 41 points, and uh, Philly uh, had, did uh, 32 points against Atlanta. So I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think that uh, that over-under should be around 55, to be honest with you. So um, if I'm getting it at 50 and a half, love it. Nice. There we go. Mark, what do you say? Um, looks like I'm actually even getting a point here in this particular game, but we actually spent a lot of time on this individual game and the show that we actually just recorded here. I'm going to kind of come stick right there. So, uh, we, we talked about it in length here. So without further ado here, just give me the over 54 and a half with the Kansas City and the Baltimore game. Nice. There we go. And take a second one. All right. So for my second one here, I mean, let's see here. I was against them last week. I'm gonna kind of like you know go on this, go on them this week here. I, I just don't like it. I, I'm a big subscriber into uh, I guess uh, the West Coast teams traveling East Coast teams, not necessarily playing up to the potential. It's their second game uh, in a row all, on the road here. I'm actually getting three and a half points. So um, I know that you guys kind of like you know like the over, but I, I'm gonna take the points. So give me the Eagles getting three and a half. Okay. So that's uh the 49ers will not win by over three and a half, correct? Correct. Yep. All right. Will, what do you say? Listen, so uh last week, week one, uh my uh New York football giants went against uh Denver. Um everybody was telling me that it was Denver's defense as opposed to our team. 
Um, and that's the reason why we why we didn't um, get the win last week. So I'm gonna go ahead and and pretty much go, go with that. Okay, it's not it's it's uh, wasn't our offense. It was Denver's defense, and they're just that good. So they're playing Jacksonville. Saw Jacksonville struggle against uh, Houston, which uh, was uh, was kind of surprising. So now you got a Denver team coming in there with a real quarterback and a and a strong defense. So I'm gonna go ahead with Denver at Jacksonville. Uh, Broncos will win by over six and a half points. Nice. There it is. All right. And, uh, you know, I made this claim in the last uh, episode that we did when we talked Kansas City and Baltimore. And, you know, I'm going to I'm going to double up on it. I'm going to put my money and my reputation of being five and oh at this point of the uh, of the the year. And I'm going to say that uh, Kansas City Chiefs will win by over three and a half points. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's a, uh, a a pretty pretty good pick there. So uh, with that, uh, we're going to take the last pick off air and uh, conserve our competitive edge. But know that we are playing uh, in contest four of the Pick'em League. And if you see SG Live as uh, one of your um league mates that uh that is us you are playing against will myself and and mark here and uh and mark uh you you came to the table with an offer for this one as well as the last episode you want to just real quick recap what can people be winning by listening to s uh to making picks well, also keep in mind that uh, StatementGames.com, now done in conjunction with Sports Host, is a free-to-play game. We've come up with a different spin on daily and season-long fantasy sports. You are competing for coins by finishing in the first, second, or third in any contest that you actually play in. Those coins can be exchanged for cash rewards at any particular point here. But in addition to that... Um, Follow the protocols that we've outlined in this show and the show can open prior. Go 10 for 10 with your picks in the Chiefs versus Ravens game here. In addition to the coins that you win that can be exchanged for rewards, you'll also win two Gem Min 10 Lamar Jackson you know, rookie cards. Um, and in this particular contest here, I mean, I'll, I'll see if I can actually attach a couple of different pictures in the comment section over here. But I got some Statement Games t-shirts, uh, sizes large or extra large. Uh, the colors are, are white and kind of like, you know, black. But basically, if anybody who posts your username, your top 10 pick, beats SG Live in this contest that we just reviewed right over here, contest number four, you'll win a couple of free t-shirts. Nice. There it is. Well... It's been a great episode, a great bonus episode with you you guys. Uh, looking forward to seeing if I can uh, maintain my my perfect record. Um, <laughs> and uh, But for everyone out there, make sure that you are following Statement Games at Statement Games on all social medias. Uh, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Statement Games Inc., as well as be sure to be playing Statement Games, statementgames.com or uh, go to your, your mobile device app store and download the app. Uh, with that, guys, good luck this week, and uh, we'll see you for uh, week three next week. See you next week. See you, man. Have a good one.